It's Fork Fest 2014. We're here, and we will take your phone calls. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. We have a studio audience. Thank you guys for coming in here uh, this evening. We have a studio beast running around here <laughs> as well. And uh, Pork Fest has been a lot of fun so far. And we're just about halfway through, I guess a little over halfway through at this point. And the, the fun has uh, is going to crank up even more, I think, in the next couple of days as more people arrive. Obviously, Friday is going to be a big day for, for people showing up because, you know, some people can't get the whole week off to attend the Porcupine Freedom Festival. As uh, it, I, I mean, I haven't really had the whole week off. I've kind of been working, kind of been vacationing all at once. And, of course, Johnson Rice with me here. Hey, Johnson. Hey, hey. We've got on our third microphone, Shire Dude, a.k.a. Andrew Vermilio. Hey, hey, thanks for having me. Good to have you here. Uh, you know, I've heard about Shire Dude, but I don't know much about the concept. You're a new mover to New Hampshire, newer yeah. than uh, than some people. Yeah, like a month ago, man. I got here on the 14th of last month. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. Crazy, yeah. And you came from where? California. Uh, oh. Los Angeles, Orange County area. So that's a big change. Was it a culture shock at all for you, or were you kind of ready to move to the woods? You know, uh, I moved into Manchester, like Manchester. That's the Vegas. woods compared to Cal to Los Angeles, it's, though. It's like a it's like a suburb of California. Okay. It's very similar, and also I've been listening to enough Free Talk Live and other various Free Stater podcasts that I I was immersed in the culture long before I got here. You'll have to have a conversation with them again midwinter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you a California native? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember watching some video footage from uh, L.A. news clips, like, you know, news team kind of uh, the, 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 the talking heads that they have on the news channels, and they were all freaking out over it being like 55 degrees or something. <laughs> and that's how it was in Florida as well. I mean, when it would come down to the, the 50s and everybody would be all bundled up, and around here people are still walking around in shorts. Don't touch your car with wet hands during the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn that? the hard way oh I, there's lots of different things i mean i, I you know like the movie with the pole where the kid licks the pole yes. And, yeah. but yes i have uh i have there's a had, lot of movies that uh, have you that. know some some moisture in my hands and, and had my uh I, I haven't gotten stuck thankfully but had it where i came close yikes <laughs> so what motivated you i mean you said you were kind of connected to some of the media learning about what was happening here but what brought you in in the first place uh how did you find out about the free state project Andrew? oh man uh Let's see. I was looking up Ron Paul videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, between how, well, how did you find Ron Paul? Oh, man. Uh, Ron Paul, his name was everywhere. Okay. Right? It 8, was 2008, hard. 20, in, 2012? In 2008, I heard about him, mm -hmm. but that was the extent of it. Like, I heard his name, and, and then so 2012 it was a good thing came he ran again then, right? Because, like... Yeah. 2008 seemed to be a big year for Ron Paul, but uh, he built off of that in 2012 and, mm -hmm. and reached even more people. Yeah, and uh, so I'm looking up all sorts of Ron Paul videos in 2011, 2012, and of course the Free Staters are geniuses. They put Ron Paul as a tag <laughs> on everything. Dave Ridley does that I'm frequently. <laughs> running into Dave Ridley videos, and I remember my first Dave Ridley video that I saw, I was like, this guy's kind of weird, and I clicked away, but I'm <laughs> glad I didn't click away from all of them because some of them really got to me, especially uh, Derek J's victimless crime spree. Oh, excellent, yeah. excellent. Have you, and so I imagine you have since met Derek J in yeah. real life. Yeah, he what also a, what a just great moved guy. to New Hampshire, moving back to New Hampshire mm -hmm. after his two-year-long exile. So uh, that, of course, is one of my favorite films. I was the executive producer of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree, and, and what a pleasure it was to uh, to work on that. Uh, it was a new experience for me as an activist. I mean, I've done a lot of media creation, doing radio and doing short videos, but to be involved in creating a full feature-length documentary like that was something new and, you know, working out as the executive producer, I kind of did all the businessy kind of, kind of things that were happening, so figuring out the DVD details and putting that together. I didn't do the editing, that was Bo Davis, and now, of course, he's uh, on another project, which is the 101 Reasons film, yeah. 101 Reasons New Hampshire, or Freedom Lives in New Hampshire, I believe is what they're calling it, and uh, so there's just so much exciting media. And you're kind of a media guy as well, from what I understand. Yeah, I'm a bit of a media file, and then I consume whatever I can get. And uh, so now I'm working on Shire Dude. 
mm-hmm. which uh, the concept kind of comes from Garrity's uh, AKPF number one. Oh, really? A Does bit he from know that? that. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I've told him. I've, I've yeah. said on multiple occasions that guy's that guy's my hero. Like, I love his work. <laughs> uh, I like that kind of like absurd humor, and yeah, I want to. It's very bizarre. Yeah. AKPF number one. I don't know if you call it avant garde or whatever, but it's uh, it's yeah. very bizarro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that kind of stuff, and also uh, the work of Vermin Supreme, my good friend. I've heard he's coming. Is it true? He has messaged me and told me he's he might show up tomorrow. <gasps> That's yeah. good. I, I've, yeah, I've definitely heard that from more than one source now. Vermin Supreme, how do you describe who that is? He is the future president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> he, he will give us all one free pony once he is elected. I almost, almost voted for him in 2012 in the Democratic primary but I ended up voting for Ron Paul instead. Yeah. Because he was actually, uh, I could actually vote for Ron Paul in the Democratic primary in New Hampshire. So uh, so I did do that. And, of course, Ron Paul took number two in the Democratic race That's fantastic. here in New Hampshire. Uh, Vermin Supreme, quite a character. We've had him on Free Talk Live in the past. He actually came to the Liberty Forum event a couple of years ago. So if he does come here to Porkfest, it won't be his first Free State Project experience. Oh, yeah. He's and, told me he considers the Free Staters his constituents. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that, that guy really gets along with uh, with us here. And he's a lot of fun. For, of course, for those that know, he, he, he does. That, those that don't know, he wears a boot on his head uh, throughout his campaign. And I, did he actually change his name to Vermin Supreme? I believe he his did. His legal name is Vermin yeah. Love Supreme. Okay. <laughs> so you come up to Porkfest, and you can meet all kinds of interesting people like this, and so many more. I mean, there's more than you can possibly uh, meet here. Let's go to, uh, take some phone calls here, if you don't mind, Andrew. You can stick with us through this. We've got Greg in New York. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnson and Andrew. We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters. <laughs> 